Hey guys, Remote Animation here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make 2D animations using Prisma 3D. To make a 2D vector animation like this, the first thing you'll need to look at is the background and the characters. For the background, we went over to freepix.com to download a background image. Then we brought it into Prisma and aligned it with the camera. And after getting it to the right size, we reduced the specular down to negative 0.5 because it will make the image appear brighter. Then after I was done with that, I went over to model the character and normally I was going to use this as reference but it was far too complicated for the first attempt. So I decided to go with something easy which was this character instead which I also downloaded from freepix.com. And making 2D characters like this is just basically weaving together a bunch of plain shapes. And for the arms, we are going to need this to be able to curve so we are going to trim the few bones to achieve this. And now that that's working, we are just simply going to mirror it for the other side. And now we have both arms complete and then move on to the neck and the head. Which is also going to be very easy to do because it's still just plain modeling. And then we put some little shapes behind the character's head for the ears. The legs were also very easy because it's basically the same thing we did for the arms. And then the final bits of the characters were the features on his head like his hair, eyes and mouth. First, the hair. First, we modeled out the part of the character's hair that's gonna be at the back of the character's head. And then we modeled the front piece. And we rigged the little arc on his hair to give the illusion that the character's head is actually turning. And then we went for the eyes, which were just two slightly modified cubes. And for the eyebrows, we just added in a few bones for facial expressions. Then, after doing some object parenting and adding some extra details, the character was basically ready. And then we put it in a scene which was in front of our background image and we did some basic animation. And for the mouse, we just used an external video editor to add in the green screen mouse animation. 